And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Pest. Pest is ranked number three in his gold division with 2,258 points, 175 wins, and 160 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the northeast up against Pest. He is the Red Zerg in the southwest. The map is Shakura's Plateau. Which is one map that I actually had been missing. I, I know I said it was one of my least favorite maps, but it's just been so long since I played it that I kind of had strategies in my head for what I wanted to do on this map, and I was just unable to ever get it done because it, it was taken off the, the ladder, the one versus one map list. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it was not on there. So I was happy to see it back, and I was even happier to see it was against Zerg because I want to redeem myself on this map, especially against Zerg players. So I definitely have a build in mind that I want to go, and I will give you a hint as to what it is. It is not three racks. Wait, what? Wait, who's this? Baller Scuba. And he said he's not going for three racks. Holy crap, that's a refinery. That is, there's no barracks here, and there is a refinery there. What is going on here? Yes, I'm psyched to tell you that. I finally did a different build uh, because of the map and because of my opponent. And that's all that I'm going to give you. Meanwhile, he is going for a... What? A, an extractor? A, a gas pool? No hatchery, right? No hatchery. Gas pool. This is what this is the build I would expect for speedlings or roaches. And neither one is a good build on this map. What you want is either tech or economy. And right now he's not really going for either. He's going for relatively low level tech, I would assume. I mean really you want the economy. That's that's the best build on this map, but I'm always scared to do that against the Zerg player. Orbital Command is on the way, Barracks is up and running, and instantly, see look, I'm just not used to this build, so I have a lot more minerals and gas than I'm used to having at this point in my build. A Bunker is on the way to finish off the block off here, uh, just in case he comes in with massive amounts of Zerglings. But he doesn't. No. Queen is out now, and drones are on the way. I mean, no, there there are no zerglings. Not a single one, except for those two. No, yeah, come on, whatever. I make sense. You guys know I make sense. So two zerglings are out, and looks like he's going to be putting. I'd assume one on each watchtower here, and it definitely. Yeah, that's what it looks like right now. But what a factory. Who is this guy? Meanwhile, okay, he's... Pest has got no scouting done, right? What has he seen here? He has seen the barracks. Hell, he hasn't even seen that... He hasn't even seen my command center. He's only seen my barracks and instantly he's going for banelings this is not a smart thing to do i mean you need scouting done early you need an overlord inside my base why is my computer frozen there we go what was going on there and what is this two starports See now, if you're a Zerg player and you see this, you should know exactly what's going on here. For those of you that are still a little bit behind on it, I am going for Banshees. Oh yes. Oh yes. 
And once again, my minerals are really high for this point because I, you know, I'm not used to this build. I need to be constantly pumping out marines. I actually could use a second barracks, um, or uh, probably with a reactor on it. Maybe even another factory with a reactor on that. Get some hellions out. But right now, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm just kind of experimenting around with this. I'm getting one banshee on the way right now. Uh, don't, not really bothering with cloak. Uh, cloak is not important to what I want to do here because really he's got two queens as anti-air. And as soon as my two banshees show up, if I am able to pick them off one at a time, it's pretty much game over for him. He is going for a lair um, because that's pretty much what he needs to do in order to get spires or. Uh, anything like that, but yeah, I, I don't know. He got he got the zerging speed. You know, you can see their wings. You know, they drink their Red Bulls this morning. But really, there's there's not much going on on his side. Uh, how many does he have? A lot of income. He's he's a little bit behind on the income, especially since I have my mules out. So here we go, two banshees going across the map. Um, I'll be honest, right here I make a very stupid mistake, an amateur mistake I must say, and I put the banshees right in the path of Zelnaga Tower because he has the zergling there. He is going to be able to spot that, but it doesn't look like he did because there's absolutely nothing being changed here. What he needs to do is get out a couple more queens to deal with this. Meanwhile, I am getting siege tanks and marines in my base trying to research siege tech for defense. Um, and I am able to take out the queen right away, starting to do massive damage to these drones here. Already seven kills between the two banshees. So six drones are down. So he's down to 16, none of which can mine right now because there is no expansion. And he's scared to put him here. So I'm going for the baneling nest because I absolutely hate banelings. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that done before centrifugal hooks is finished. And though these uh, banshees don't do great damage against buildings, it's just, you know, average. But I am able to take that out, and now I'm starting to move out. Trying to find something else to take on. And here I find the queen, and the queen is not microed at all, going for the banshee with full health. So now these two are about even here, and oh, here I make a mistake. Go right over the spore crawlers just as the second one finishes, and I lose both my banshees. So I'm only able to get eight kills between the two of them. Uh, two queens and six drones, I believe, was the final result. And here, I, I saw it to the bunker so I can secure my expansion, uh, but what I really need is a bunker here, uh, maybe another one here with the siege tanks in the middle. That would be awesome, but I don't go for that. And he, what he should need to do, once he saw the Banshees, is move all these units inside my base, go for an instant counterattack, even though... He's not going to be able to win the game with it. He needs to get pressure done on me once I get pressure done on him. These guys are useless inside his base. They cannot attack the Banshees. So he needs to go in and start doing some harassment on my SCVs. Maybe even lift off, make, force me to lift off my orbital command until the Zerglings leave. You know, he needs to get something like that done. And here I'm going for a fusion core. So we're going for the classic... Um, Destiny Cloudfist into Double Starport Banshee into Double Starport Battleship build. Of course, why not? And two more Banshees are out doing more harassment. Focusing down the Spore Crawler, I was already able to take out the Queen. And so now he is going, okay, I need to move in. It is far too late. My siege tanks are up. I only lost maybe two or three marines and one siege tank. And he lost all those zerglings. Uh, sending out another ball of zerglings here. These banelings are sitting here going, kind of just throbbing in excitement of exploding somewhere. But they have nowhere to explode. 
focusing down the hatchery. Meanwhile, the Zerglings are back inside my base. And once again, two or three Marines, and that was about it. So I take a, a huge lead here, and this is when he starts to realize that it is game over, and he wants to have a little chat. And I should know better. Uh, don't trust people who like to chat. Oh, they're tricky, those chatters. I don't know if this was supposed to be condescending or not. Uh, if he was trying to say that it was cheesy. But as I'm sure you guys can tell, this is my first time trying it. Um, if you follow my channel, you, you'll know that I don't do it. And if you don't, look at all those minerals. I have 2,500 minerals. That's because um, I, I wasn't aware of exactly how heavy, gas heavy, these banshees were. So um, I definitely you need a second barracks up with a reactor. Um, a factory with a, with a reactor. Um... With no scouting available that early, scouting is available that early, you just have to sacrifice an overlord uh, for the Zerg players. Um, and yes, I went for this specifically because he was Zerg. If, if he was a Terran or a Protoss player, I definitely would not have gone for this build. I mean, wh what are two Banshees going to do inside um, Terran's base? You know, three Marines, and I can take out one of the Banshees pretty much. I don't know. 21 kills makes that Banshee a commander, so there we go. Highest one that I know of uh, at being broadcast in one of my games. And here I do uh, quite a smart thing here, I thought. Uh, well, smart for, for what I needed. Um, I don't put anybody really on the minerals. I just put them purely on gas while I try to catch up here. Still not producing anything because, you know, the game's over. They, he's already told me, and that's the game game so pretty much four four banshees won this game for me so it wasn't the best game uh, but it was definitely a new strategy for me and I'm excited about that um, I'm always excited about doing something new and it works out well and this worked out well because it was a pretty easy win for me um, you know despite doing horribly in, in mineral management so many minerals because, you know, basically I'm on 112 here. Um, I am, by the way, going for those battleships. That, uh, finally, I was going to go for a medevac drop here, uh, leave the siege tanks here for defense in case he went for the, uh, the Zerglings again. But yeah, that was the game. Uh, so there we go. Banshee harass against Zerg players. If you didn't know, now you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.